Okay, back again. Uh, so now, um, basically, we've got that as a part. We've got the front plate. Um, you know, we can do a little um, manipulation if we want. I think what I want to do next is put in the, um, you know, the kind of the little grip pieces here. And I think I've got a better way to do it than I had with that um, first one. So um, what I want to do is this time switch to the mask circle and under the stroke make sure that square and center are checked so I can draw that out and kind of get here towards the center, hold control, draw it out. Um, that looks pretty good. Let me move it up a little bit. Mask that. Yep, that looks good. And then kind of rotate uh, around from an orthographic view so that I'm looking a little more normal to it. If I can make my crazy mouse work. Uh, my mouse pad sucks. There we go. And then with the uh, mask pen, I'm just going to Make some bars across there. Hold Alt to unmask it. Do that a few times. Just kind of make a progression. some of these that are a little jagged I might be able to clean up just by zooming in and let's see let's kind of position them About like that maybe not Like it's going to take stuff with it. Um, it's okay. Oh, actually, I've got some of that. Mm. No, I think this is probably the best it's going to do. It's okay. It'll polish up some when I uh, do um, the mask. Oh, yeah, and also we need to um, make sure that anything that went through is unmasked. Yeah, I can see how it got some of that in there. So, Alright, looking good there. Um, boy, it's really bugging me. Those are like that. I might be able to, let's see, let's get way zoomed in and make the brush size really small. And see if we can just paint those out. Yeah, that looks good. All right, and then come down to polygroup. Let's see, let me hide some of these so things are easier to find. Yeah, polygroups, and you see the uh, group mask. I'm going to turn the polish all the way up uh, to one, and then click on group mask, and that way it creates a polygroup, and the polish will cause it to round over. So let's clear that mask so you see what I'm talking about. Yeah, see how it smoothed things up. Uh, across there. Alright, so what I can do with those now is um, let's see, let's switch to the select rectangle and hold control shift and click it so that those those pieces are isolated like that and then come up, let's come up to panel loops and that's under a geometry and edge loop You'll see, yeah, panel loops right there. And the number of loops is usually five. I'm going to set it to three. I'm going to leave it on uh, double uh, thickness at 0 0.01. I think that'll work uh, for mine. And with every, with that other stuff hidden, I'm going to click panel loops. And you see that 
you know, what that does is it, it created a, um, if I hide, um, if I hide everything like that and then come down to visibility and do grow all, it'll grow all around to that shell. So it's created, um, it's created these kind of little thin pads uh, there. So then when I control shift and click and bring everything back, see it's, it's, um, um, you know, it's got kind of little pad buttons in there. Uh, so the next thing I want to do is uh, probably close those holes off. So, or the ones that are in the, you know, in, in that part of it. So let's see. To get those, I think what I want to do is, yeah, while these are all still visible like that, um, if I turn on polyframe and zoom in, you'll see that they're, you know, it's got that bevel on them, and they're, they're slightly different poly groups all the way around these things. I just, I want to make all that as one, because I'm going to be working with that. So, um, under, again, under poly groups, group visible, and that'll make, that'll make sure all that's together. And then I can unhide everything, and then it's easy, a lot easier to isolate just those. Um, all right. Uh, so, yeah, now to close... Uh, these off. What I want to do is uh, Control Shift uh, and then Control Shift Alt to invert uh, the selection, and that should have everything but those. Just leaving these holes, and I can come up here to modify topology under Geometry and close holes. And that should yeah fill that in. Make sure it didn't do anything untoward. Uh, yeah, that all looks good. So yeah, when I when I invert, yeah, see how that's all. Those things are closed off. All right. Um, let's bring those back and let's see. I think there's a mask on those, so let's clear that. Yep. And don't dynamesh at this point, or it'll just kind of smoosh everything uh, back together. So, uh, another trick uh, now is to put uh, some, make some pieces to uh, fit on the sides here. Let's see how we're doing on time. Oh, okay, yeah, there we go. Oh, I've got four minutes, so I'm doing great. So, Let's see, let's shift F to hold the poly, hide the polyframes. Let's do some masking. Um, to do this, I'm going to use the mask curve uh, brush and mask everything except uh, let's see. Pull that down. Double tap all, double tap all, and then a mask uh, across there, and then over here, drag it down, try to get it as straight as I can, and this time just hold down all to invert that mask, uh, and then to do this little part right here, I'll just probably just use a circle get way zoomed out on it um, yeah the mask circle and draw that out till it looks like it's kind of following roughly that radius uh, right there and hold all and do that yeah and so that gives me all that let's see let's do a little clean up on this let's switch to the mask pin and that way we can just kind of do things. So let's pull this in here. Uh, not like that. Let's get zoomed in so I can just hit that little one that's causing problems there. And all, yeah. And that looks good. Let's see. Let's see if we can clean this one over here on this side up a little bit. And if 
not just kind of smooth it in with the pen. There we go, that looks good. Let's take a look at the other side because sometimes the symmetry just does not want to cooperate. So, yeah, let's just paint that in. Oh, not there. Boy, my mouse is really giving me fits. There. All right, looking good all around. Okay, let's clear it off uh, the bottom. Let's see, get it roughly centered. Right, that's a pretty good good size gap. Yeah, and it got oh, didn't go all the way, so yeah, let's do it from the top. That way. It'll get the bottom as well. Yeah, and then we need to take care of some of the stuff out here on the ends. Um, I think that's just stuff that's the yeah, that's kind of deep into the um, recesses of those, so Let's um, uh, so control. Yeah, I've got mask pens. Just make my brush bigger. And I may need to hold control and go to brush and turn on back face masking. Yeah, that way it won't it won't go all the way through on some of these center parts. So hold control and oops, control alt. And yeah, let's paint it out there. I'm about finished. And paint it out up here. Really make sure it's painted out because we're going to panel loop these two and you don't want any strays uh, picking up in there. Alright, that looks good. That looks good. Uh, and then from polygroups, go to uh, group mask. That should do that. Let me turn on polyframes just to be sure. Clear the mask. Yep, yeah, it's real faint, but yeah, it's a light, lighter green. All right, that looks good. Uh, and then so from there, uh, control shift and just make sure those are selected. And let's see, let's. I know one thing I forgot. Uh, yeah, I need a I need a little bit of a gap uh, across there. So let's take a look at the yeah. and yeah. While that's masked, what I can do is come over here uh, to the side and kind of drag one. I want it to kind of center up with the lens, so yeah, it's sort of centered there. And all and that should yeah, that should get it. Yeah, so now, uh, group mask, and let's clear the mask and hold control shift just to make those selected. Yeah, that looks good. And now come up to panel loops. Edge loop, panel loop. Panel loop. Oh, these I want to make a little bit thicker. So let's, instead of this um, 001 thickness, let's go with maybe 004, 0 0.04. Or was that? Oh, oh, sorry, it was 04. And panel loop. There we go. Much better. Um, and then Control Shift click on the outer part of that, and then go to. Uh, group visible, sorry, not group visible, but uh, grow all under visibility. So it just gets those, and now group visible, so that those are all one bit, and control shift and click to bring all that back. Yeah. So uh, let me uh, uh, stop here and uh, pick it up again.